Right. I am Jimmy Adegoke. I served as chair of a task team that was put together uh, to develop a report um, addressing weather index insurance um, within the context of climate smart agriculture. And today I'm just going to give a, a brief overview of what we did and why we did what, um, what, what we did in that study and um, the key lessons that came out of it. Um, the key question, the key question that we tried to address in, that, in this report was to examine the extent to which weather index insurance complements or addresses the three key climate smart agriculture objectives. Um, those three objectives, as, as we probably know, um, includes number one, sus sustainably increasing agricultural productivity to support increased incomes, food security, and development. That's the first um, of that tripod on which climate smart agriculture stands. The second is promotive adaptive capacity at multiple levels. And the third key objective of CSA is enabling greenhouse gas emission reductions. So what did we do? Um, we used a range of case studies to highlight success factors and challenges that appear to contribute to the outcomes of the implementation of uh, weather index-based agricultural in insurance um, on a global basis. Um, we also, that report also draws out some key lessons that should be considered as a basis um, for building out um, these types of weather index um, uh, programs or, 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 or policies and scaling them up um, from the case study areas, from the countries that have successfully implemented case studies uh, to other countries. Uh, so I'm going to briefly address um, what were our key take home messages. I'd like to really highlight on those, those, those take home messages and then I'll come back to um, a couple of um, lessons that we learned. But here are the take home messages. We conclude that innovations like weather index insurance for agricultural and natural disaster risks um, have to be a part of the solution which are, um, uh, which, are, which, which are incorporated into an integrated risk management strategies at multiple levels. So at country levels, at, at regional levels, even at global levels, when we think about addressing the challenge of climate change, um, we have to look at a basket of options. And those basket of options has to include um, innovations like weather index insurance. So that's the first, um, that's the first take home message. Then the second take home message is that to be effective in implementing and expanding weather index insurance, it will require strong collaboration across or among governments, donors, and private sector partners. Okay. A lot of what we have seen so far um, that, that, that has, has clearly indicated that these kinds of very strong interlinkages and partnerships between public sector, between government, between private sector, and between donors is really fundamental to successfully scaling up weather index insurance. The third, I would think, and, and in fact, maybe one of the most important um, lessons learned or take home messages out of this report and the work that we did, was that from past and recent experiences, we know and we have shown that index insurance must also be placed within a larger development context. Motivated clearly by the goal of enhancing resilience of agricultural producers. So weather insurance itself, while it's a useful vehicle, a useful instrument, a useful platform, um, getting the most out of it is really contingent on um, recognizing and, and placing this, um, this, this instrument within this larger context of uh, within this larger development context. 
And that is how we succeed in uh, enhancing food security and producing more food and, and reducing risk, um, especially of the most vulnerable producers um, across the